This episode is part of our Australian India Pale Ale series. Today's beer is Gage Road's Rock Dance IPA. from Beer Australia Reviews and today we will be sampling, tasting and reviewing some Gage Roads Rock Dance IPA. Now Gage Roads is actually possibly the closest brewery to where I live, it's just the other side of the river from where I am. It's also one of my favourite beers to have, I uh, often will get their beer which is called Single Fin, which they call a, um, a summer ale, which is like a lager type beer. Uh, that's available in lots of different places around Perth, um, it's on draft in, in lots of different places. The good thing about the Single Fin as well is it's available at the the football stadium so whenever I go and watch um, Perth Glory play I, I will always have a single fin at half time you know you're getting a decent beer when you have a Gage Road single fin this is though the first time that I've tried any of the other Gage Road beers because literally I've only ever had the the single fin before I like the single fin I always seek it out if it's on draft I will have a pint of that because it's always good quality you know what you're getting let's see if their IPAs uh, are as good as their summer ales now from the website it says this one has tangerine, stone fruit and resin with hop a hop trifecta, three different hops, Idaho 7, Citra and Azaka. It also says it has uh, rounded malts with firm business and it's 6.5 ABV. Now I do have a big complaint about this beer in Mr. Rhodes, if I can call you Gage. The can is too small, it's a 330ml can, you need to make bigger cans. Anyways. very pale so this is definitely a west coast ipa as well it's poor and clear very pale in color it does have a little bit of sediment in there it's not completely clear i'm getting some uh, citrus flavors from this one already oh it's got quite a fizzy head on this one mm, that smells good yeah small can so despite the fact it says it's a West Coast clear IPA, that's actually a little bit cloudy. It's got a like a, a firmish type of uh, large bubble head that is going down now, but I'm definitely getting citrus from this. So it's always a good sign when you open the can, start to pour it out and you immediately get citrus from the drink itself. Okay, so let's give this one a try. So it's a light citrus. It's not like huge amounts of uh, can I get tangerine? That's what they're saying in this one, tangerine. Oh, it's quite a bitter taste. There's actually a, a lot of grapefruits in this one, maybe even like a, um, a citrus peel, grapefruit peel sort of a taste on this. Uh, am I getting any stone fruits and tangerine? We're, get, we're definitely getting a little bit of the resiny aroma. Not a lot of sweet malts in this one. So I, I really like the uh, the Cheeky Monkey West Coast IPA. Uh, it's been my favourite uh, West Coast style IPA from Western Australia in, in recent months. So this one has got very little sweetness in there. Uh, it's more of a, a deeper bitterness as well. It's very clean and crisp and easy drinking. This is definitely one that you could swig back, especially a, a four pack of 330 mil cans. You could easily swig a four pack of these. Let's see what else we can get on this one. Stone fruit. So are we getting any stone fruits? I'm not getting uh, what I would say is an abundance of stone fruit. I don't think there's as many hops in this as in some of the local IPAs that I've had before. So it, it's it's a nice beer. It's giving me lots of floral aromas coming through on this one. It's not the most hoppy beer that I've ever tasted. I think they've mildly hopped this. Did they mention anything else? Did I see on the can it says it's um, dry hopped and unfiltered. Well, you can see it's unfiltered. So it still has a bit of haze in the thing, even though it's a, a West Coast IPA, which is supposed to be a, a clear beer. If it's unfiltered and it's gone into the can, would still with like a little bit of the uh, the yeast sediment in and a little bit of the hop sediments. I'm I'm all for that because it's uh, it it makes it into a fresher tasting, nicer beer. I think that's my overall impression of this beer: is it's really fresh, it's easy to drink. It, disappears down really quick. It's not the most complex. It doesn't have the most floral aromas of any IPA that I've had recently. It doesn't have the, the biggest hit of malt, but it's just an overall nice beer. Uh, it's the thing with all of the, the Gage Roads, or sorry, with the other Gage Road beer that I've tried, the Single Fin, it's a nice beer. It's an easy drinking beer. It's a beer that you drink um, when you are watching the football, one of those sorts of beers. 
So, head's gone down quite a lot right now, but it's looking, looks good in the glass. There, there's quite a lot of bitterness now at the back. It's, I'm still getting bitterness. So it means that there's enough complexity in there to keep an interest. So the more, uh, the longer it lingers, the more different sorts of aromas and flavors that you can get when you drink a beer, just the better quality of the beer. And the fact I'm still getting the flavor notes on this one right now. Tang either side is the uh, is the big thing. Then it means it's well put together beer. I will definitely seek out all of the other range of the Gage Roads beers because I see they've, they've brought out recently a few other ones and they do some special edition beers. Apparently as well that this beer, the, the, the Gage Roads IPA, is available on draft. Now I've not seen it on draft anywhere at all. All, uh, I see the single fin everywhere that I go and um, I will be seeking out and trying uh, as many of the other Gage Roads beers as I can try so I, I notice they have like a core range and they also do uh, like a number of like special edition beers and things and yeah I, I will definitely be um, tasting them I'll be reviewing them and I'll be making some videos uh, not the most complex but it's a well-made beer. It's a crisp, refreshing beer that would be good uh, for drinking when you're watching the football. Uh, not, not the maltiest of beers. Doesn't have the biggest hit of aromas, but what you do get is absolutely good quality. Gage Rhodes Rock Dance IPA, brewed in Perth. Yeah, try it. Thanks for watching.